Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creative YouTuber that's trying to be a long no by. And today I'm actually planning on doing a get ready with me and a no by update. I have been not that good with my no by updates if I'm going to be honest. It has mostly been because I don't know how to do them fun in one way, but I guess from the meaning just to get rid with me <laughs> is maybe the best thing but have i decided what i want to talk about in this get rid with me mm, no but i am going to do a purple look today and i've picked out three palettes that i'm going to use uh, two from shroud creepy cute and it's freaking bats and then i took serenity from menagerie and i just going to do a purple look a pretty simple purple look, I guess. And should I sit a little bit higher? Uh, so I hope that this will go good. I have no idea. And I'm moving things. And yeah, I have some lemonade. So I'm just <laughs> going to bend this. I'm going to prime with this primer that I don't like that much. What is the primer I have? And yeah, my no buy. I have had it now for yeah, I started January first, so I have had it for a little more than nine months and I am still maybe I should just put on my eyeshadow primer and then start to talk. And I have the window open, I don't know if you can hear like the cars outside. But for some reason it is so hot in our apartment and we don't have like, is it radiators on? So I don't know why it is this hot. Um, I'm going to leave the shades that I'm using down in the description. So I'm not going to focus on that. But yeah. So if we're going to talk a bit quick about my no buy maybe, it's still going great and I talked it with my boyfriend a couple of days ago and was like, I haven't bought, like if I see the amount I bought makeup for this year, it's like nothing. The things that I've bought makeup wise, I've bought two mascaras, one foundation, two eyeshadow primers, and a powder. And I think that is all and everything I have bought because I actually did need them. Or Okay, the powder I don't need it yet. I think I might could have managed the whole year with my Nabla powder, but I was like I did repress this. I can show you it. it. I did repress this and I was so afraid that it was not going to work after I did repress it or if it was going to fall apart. But it actually did survive my repressing skills. So I think I can go with that yeah, more than this year even. So I haven't opened the new powder I bought and uh, the eyeshadow primers. This has been the year for me when I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to eyeshadow primers. As you know I do love the Milani eyeshadow primer and then mine was empty and I had a Kaleidos tone activator and I did use it. It didn't work for me like at all. It was I couldn't work with it. It looked like shit almost all the time and I was just frustrated and I was like okay I'm not going to have it like this because I want it to be fun to put on makeup and not me getting mad because things isn't working. So then I bought this one from Switch Brand Gloss Gloss and I've talked about this so much. I can't make this work for me. It works sometimes amazing, but m most of the times, like 99% of the times, my matte shadows start to crease out here or on the whole lid if I don't have a shimmer and it looks like shit. 
So, so mad. I bought the Milani eyeshadow primer. I have it at home, haven't opened it, and I'm going to keep using this when I'm just doing, yeah, like today I'm just going to film. I'm not going out in this makeup. So, yeah, but I'm so mad about that. So, yeah, it's like insane to think how much makeup I, if we look back to 2021, because I had a no buy year, I think that was 2020, so I guess 2021, I did shop makeup like a crazy person. And it's so strange like to see how much makeup I did buy then and how little I have bought now. And it feels really good. And in the beginning, yes, it was like hard to miss out on new releases and it was like hard just to see people using brands that I really loved and like using products that I really really wanted but didn't buy because of my no buy. That was hard in the beginning of the year but now <laughs> Actually not. And I thought like, is there something that I feel like I have super much FOMO over and going to be so sad that I'm not going to get? And no, because I think all the things that I really, really want, I can just buy them next year. And this year, it's, it's not that much left of this year. It's October, so I don't have FOMO about that. And I guess if I would have do like continue with this no buy then I guess I would have had more FOMO but right now no and I don't know what I want to do next year I don't know if I want to like continue with this no buy or if I'm going to go into a low buy or okay maybe I know that I don't want to do a no buy again but I don't know if I want to do a low buy again or just like maybe see how it feels, maybe have no rules for like the beginning of next year and just see where it's going. I don't know. And one thing that <laughs> I'm a little bit like angry with myself with, that is like I haven't, yeah, b this year when I have had this no buy, I could have done so much more videos about that. But it's like, I n don't know what to do and <sighs> talky videos isn't always my thing. I do like them and I do like to do get ready with me's, but like super long talky videos about things isn't always the thing that I want to do. And <sighs> I have been like, maybe this was a mistake in not doing a completely like um no by channel but i think i'm pretty happy that i have done maybe the last couple of months more like videos that is what i to use what i have in my collection and it feels like now i am really like in a role with doing videos and i'm trying to post like three to five days a week and i have my theme weeks and it's finally I'm finally finding the joy again and I didn't lose the joy for YouTube because of my no buy. It wasn't because of that. It is what's, what's going on outside of YouTube. This year hasn't been good and it's still not that good but some parts are better than it was last year for example um, but some things aren't like super good this year either and i do not want to talk about it more but if you have been following me this year you know some of the reasons why it haven't come that many videos but yeah now it feels like i'm in a role again and like this theme weeks thing feels like it's something that it's my thing and that feels so good that I think that I finally found my thing and I don't know if that would have happened if I didn't was on if I didn't do this 
No buy because like I'm stuck with the palettes I have. I am not buying any new palettes this year, so yeah. And if you're wondering, I'm using this shade now from um, It's Freaking Bats, and I'm so looking forward to the end of December because I love to do videos like to wrap up this year, and I'm going to try to have a video where I talk maybe about tips on having a no buy and like my feelings and how I have changed but maybe yeah maybe that came will come in January I don't know but it's going to be fun to do videos where I can talk about how this year has been and what I'm planning on doing next year because I haven't figured that out yet. I have it. No, like I have written down some ideas that I have for next year, but it's nothing that I have completely decided. And I'm going to do a video about that. Okay, I do like this look, and it's so freaking hot in here. And first, I was like, maybe I am having a fever, but I'm I'm not warm. And we were out before shopping some food and then I felt fine so it just I think it's 27 degrees Celsius in here in Fahrenheit I have no idea the only thing in Fahrenheit I know I know like 100 degrees is 37 or 38 it's the body temperature right that is what you are going on from <laughs> um like that is your zero, that is your hundred, your body temperature, am I correct? In Sweden we have Celsius and yeah, this is science with Lisa. In Sweden we have Celsius and zero degrees is where the water freeze and hundred degrees is where the water is boiling. I think that is so much easier but also we have the metric system which is a really easy system to use. US just, you know. And is this what's happening now when I'm trying to do Get Ready With Me? It feels like it was a long time ago since I did Get Ready With Me. And before that was like what I did do. But yeah, I'm guessing that is my no buy update. And I am <laughs> planning on doing a video. I don't know if I will do it today. Maybe after this I will see. But where I talk about things that I know I'm going to buy after my no buy because I have some things and also like to clarify it I haven't had a no buy when it comes to uh, other things in my life like uh, clothes or shoes or jewelry even though I think I might should have done it with jewelry but I haven't and I guess that might be one of the reasons why it has been going good but I have actually been cleaning out so much um, both shoes and clothes from my home and that has been feeling really great and i have like you know clothes that yeah a couple of years ago i was much smaller than i am uh, today and you know when you are gaining weight okay maybe i'm going to talk about weight and if you don't want to hear about that you can fast forward but you know when you have like clothes that you did love when you weighed less or more and now they don't fit anymore and you feel like like you maybe not having yeah maybe like a little goal to try to get into these clothes again but it's never happening and you just feel bad every time you watch maybe that shirt or that dress. I did just get rid of those. And I was going through my t-shirts and I was trying them on. And like, first, because that was a tip that I heard that I really did. Like when you're trying on clothes, don't look in the mirror first. Like see how it makes you feel and like your feelings about the item before you see yourself in it 
and I did try that so I put my shirts on and was feeling it then I checked the mirror and I was like no this is not working for me anymore either because it's old and not like the fit is not there like I'm not a quality shopper when it comes to like t-shirts I like more either black t-shirts or t-shirts with a fun print and not the designer tees so they do not hold up like forever so I just throw them all away and like t-shirts that I have had for maybe six years that I don't use anymore and I save them just because I know how much I like them when I bought them and I did that and that felt great so where was I going with this one? Yeah, I just did that and I can really recommend it. If you sometimes watch your clothes that you have and not feeling good. Let's get rid of it. It's only clothes. And I did that with the, my shoes. <laughs> I still do have a lot of shoes. Um, the one thing I love about shoes. They will never get too big or too small. If they fit, they fit. And I have actually... Is this how I get rid of with me usually goes? I'm talking about a thing that yeah, my no buy update and then I'm going in to talk about cleaning out your closet and shoes. But when I was younger I was the converse girl. Kind of girl. I don't know how many black Converse that I have worn out like it was hanging on literally literally only by a thread maybe five pairs if not more and I use them all year around but now I have like really discovered how fun it is with shoes I did it a couple of years ago and my biggest thing this year and uh, last year buffalo i am an itis kid <laughs> and i did really want some buffaloes when i was younger but they were too expensive and i didn't get any and then they were just leather and i don't wear leather because i have been a vegetarian and now i am a vegan so i haven't wanted to wear leather but now buffalo is having I'm going to take foundation in my forehead I don't know if that is a stupid idea because I have bangs but it just feels strange to leave it alone uh, buffalo has vegan shoes and I think now that I owe 10 or 11 pairs of buffalo shoes <laughs> and I still do own Converse but now I have gone over to white ones I have white one pair of white and one pair of lilac or like not baby blue but baby purple so I get is lavender or lilac and uh, yeah so shoes is something that i really love to buy and it feels good to be like a grown-up and you can buy whatever you want if you have the money to buy a certain shoe you can do it so shoes is one thing that i buy that is like in better quality and if someone don't know what i want to do more on my face if i want to take powder products or cream products maybe I can take creams so this one as my contour but what do I want to take as my blush then should I take a really pink blush maybe I don't know I'm going to start with my contour and here I like never know how this will go And is it something that you like buy now that you did really want when you was a kid but didn't 
get like buffaloes for me that was something that I really wanted I never got them but now when I'm a grown-up I can buy them I do maybe I have a crack this one <laughs> because sometimes I don't know do not know how to use this but do you know what I'm going to try actually is something that I haven't tried ever I have the Santa sticks from LH Cosmetics and these are like you can use them as a blush so I'm going to take this amber trim and what are you seeing you are supposed to like take it on your hand and then take a sponge I'm just using my sponge to everything and have it on I have had these fantastics for so long and I have never used I have one that I have used as um, a highlighter but never as a blush I do like this I don't know how much you can see I always think it's so so hard why haven't I ever tried this before I have known this forever but I haven't ever tried it I do like it okay um as a highlighter I think I'm going to take this one. This is from a Swedish brand Beauty Act. I should I take this dirty, dirty sponge? But it feels like this lipstick that I took as a blush is also a little bit like a highlighter. Because I don't know if this is. Maybe I should just do it like that. I like never know what a stick highlighter it feels like sometimes. You can't take it directly on your cheek and sometimes you it looks better if you do that. Okay, this just looks messy right now. It's now that I don't know like do I want to take powder over this but then I'm going to lose some of the Yeah, I'm going to take powder because this is so sticky. And this I don't know. Some people do take powder over, some people don't. I usually do because I think it not to I don't want to take it too much where I had my highlighter but I'm not taking that much powder over so I just want to set everything so I do like how this is looking I think it could have looked a little bit better like the base makeup but I'm kind of okay with this and it's now I don't know because I'm going to do my eyebrows and I don't like to do my eyebrows on camera because I'm a little bit like too concentrated so I think that I will do my eyebrows and maybe also like my under eyes off cam and then maybe try to find a lipstick off cam as well or maybe I should just show you like the process how it is with me picking up picking out lipsticks so yeah I can do that so I fix my under eyes mascara and my eyebrows and then I come back with some options I have for lipstick it's only the lipstick left and it's this thing I usually never show on camera because I like never know yeah okay so I have picked out a lot of lipsticks and it's like I don't know first I was like maybe I should take my purple liquid lipstick but this is from lethal this is pandemonium but I think this is like too cold and I usually don't like uh, purple lips and then I took a wicked <laughs> from lime crime that is a pretty really deep dark red but i don't think that either and then i was like maybe i should take immersion from colourpop which i really love but i don't know no not colourpop this is uh, kaleidos and then i took anemia from <laughs> lethal i'm like yeah maybe i like this one and maybe i can take this gloss over this is kaleidos mesmerize or maybe i can take the 
if you're not a lip gloss from LH Cosmetics Melomauve or are you taking the lipstick in Melomauve or maybe I also have this lipstick from KVD that is Sanctuary but it's like I don't know if I want a fun lip or a dark lip or a muted lip I have no idea and this is like always a struggle for me when I'm doing looks and I don't know I don't think I ever have had these kind of problems when it comes to my lipstick but it's like I don't know what to wear because I think this purple one it's like really I think this is a little bit like too dark because I don't think I want this this dark and if you could only know that this is my struggle all the time maybe I should take these two the anemia from Letha and this lip gloss from Kaleidos taking this and then taking a gloss over so either this one from Kaleidos or this one from LH Cosmetics. This from Kaleidos could be fun. And it's now I don't know because I don't think that this looks good. But what? <sighs> oh, this has been going on for six minutes. Maybe we should just scrap this idea as well. But this is like the dangerous thing with start to switching your lipstick. Because it's going to look shit in the end when you're taking... A lipstick off it's Astrid behind me it's going to like shade when you start to take the lipstick off and going to try to have something new one because like the outline of the lip is not going to be great but I don't think that this color is great for this look okay I did change my mind and I did mess it up I took wicked from lime crime and when I started I like why don't I use this more because this is an amazing color but now when I am done I remember why this is really hard to get like even I think it looks a little bit patchy still like you know the more I trying to fix it I guess the worst it is going to look and I don't know why this color is like this because I have other from Lime Crime that I do really like that works really good but yes this is wicked it's so like patchy I, I hope it doesn't show on camera and yeah, I think this changed the whole vibe of this look. But I do really like it. And the thing I wanted to go get out of this video. First, I can get rid with me and an update. And I also really wanted to use this from the It's Freaking Bats palette. And I do like the look because apparently purple is a thing that I do like. And now I, this annoys the crap out of me. Okay, don't do this. I'm going to do this even though I know this is such a bad idea. I'm going to try to fix this. Like trying to fix your cupid's bow, it's... <sighs> yeah, okay. Uh, I do hope that you liked this video and I hope that... Um, everybody watched this, this because it's... I think it's a real long video. And now you know my struggle when it comes to lipsticks. Like when I'm doing a video and I am doing my base done and just like I come back when everything is done sometimes it takes like 20 minutes to end to finish my base up and my lipstick because I don't know what to use is this a good choice I don't know do I like this I like the color of this lipstick but not like it's so patchy the color is amazing but okay i hope that you like this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my other videos and i hope that i will see you in the next one bye